Hi, my name is Abby from Apebase, and in this video, we're going to cover how to write queries in the API Explorer. So the first thing you'll want to do is open your backend workspace and head over to the API Explorer. Now, before we start writing this new query, um, I'm going to show you some tables. So I have an ingredients table with the following columns. And I have a meals table with the following columns. Cool. So the API has some pretty cool features. So one of them is the Explorer. So here it opens this left pane and here are all the tables and information available to you that's populated from the information that's here in your data viewer. So going back to the API Explorer, we can open the Explorer tab and create a brand new query. So we'll go down here to add new query. Um, in this case, I'll be creating a query to read the list of ingredients. So here's the ingredients list object, its items, and for the list of ingredients, I want to see their ID, the ingredient name, the quantity, and the unit. The ingredients table also has meals associated with each ingredient. So I'll like to see that as well. So here I'll click on meal name and meal type. And we'll close the pane here. Nice. Now, if we look here, we have the results that are giving all the list of ingredients and then the meals they're associated with. Now, moving forward, I'll probably want to save this query. So I'll call this list read ingredients. Uh, another cool feature of the API Explorer is in the case I have another query, there is local storage that when I open up the history pane, it allows me to see my past queries and easily render them. So for example, I had a query for my workspace count and that's here. And if I wanna pan back to my ingredient query, that's here as well. Another great feature is that in the case that let's say my formatting is adjusted um, or things are in a single row, I can click prettyfy and my code here will adjust to follow GraphQL syntax. Uh, another cool feature of the API Explorer is the code exporter. So the code exporter will allow you to copy and paste your query onto an external client. And next is the interactive graph. So the interactive graph is pretty awesome because it gives you a DAG, um, a DAG schematic of the relationships between your tables. So as you see here, I have a user table, my meals table, my ingredients table, and the relation between all of them. So there you have it. You now know how to write a query in the API Explorer. If you'd like to know more, please head over to resources documentation or community. And in the meantime, keep building.